the Hanhut star, which originated over 160 years ago in the renewed Moravian church, is considered the source of all handmade Christmas stars. Even today, beginning the peaceful Christmas season with a Hernhut star is still a charming tradition. The historical background. In 1722, Count Nikolaus Ludwig von Zinzendorf granted a place of asylum to the first refugees from Morovia who were fleeing on account of their faith. Some time after the Peace of Augsburg in 1555, a counter-reformation against members of Protestant churches in the areas under the rule of the Royal House of Habsburg began. The counter-reformation was motivated by political infighting and caused Protestants to seek refuge in Lutheran Saxony. With the settling of the first two families, the fast-growing community of Herrnhut, meaning under the Lord's protection, was founded. Shortly after the founding of the Moravian Church, the brothers and sisters sent missionaries out from amongst them into the far-off corners of the world. Their goal was the spreading of the Christian gospel, which according to the Herrnhut congregation included the education and the promotion of self-sufficiency amongst the indigenous people. At the beginning of the 19th century, the first star made of paper and cardboard shone in the room of the boarding school of the Moravian Church. Since living conditions in the missionary territories were often very adverse, parents sent their school-age children back to their homelands. They received education and upbringing under the ages of the Moravian Church. Of course, these boarding schools could not take the place of home. Being separated from their parents was very painful for the children, especially during the Advent and Christmas season. Hence, the star as a symbol of the Bible story was welcome helpmate. A teacher first used the star in mathematics class as a way to help children better understand geometry. He let the children at the boarding school construct stars of various geometrical shapes and these stars later adorned the schoolrooms. The first stars were colored white and red, white for purity and red for the blood of Jesus Christ. From then on, the children always crafted their stars on the first Sunday in Advent and carried this custom back to their families. At the end of the 19th century, the businessman Peter Henrik Verbeek invented the first star with points attached to a metal frame. It could be assembled by sliding the paper points into the metal frame. This innovation made it possible to take the star apart and ship it. The Hernhut Mission Bookshop served as the first distributor. Over the course of the following years, businessman Verbeek developed the construction further and founded the Hernhut Star Factory. In 1925, he registered a patent for the first frameless Hernhut Star. This model corresponds to the stars produced today, 17 points with a square base and 8 points with a triangular base. The self-supporting construction made mass production, sales and delivery much easier and was a vital feature for successful worldwide marketing. The development of business and political frameworks since 1989 made a new beginning possible for the production of Herrnhut stars with the relaunch of the private limited company Herrnhut Star Factory, employing 23 workers in 1991. The sales department needed to be completely rebuilt. In addition, new materials were used and the production process was modernized. Since 
2010, the production facilities and the demonstration workshop have been united under one roof at the new manufactory. In the modern production rooms of Herrnhut Star Factory, you can see diligent hands folding and pasting the small and large points for the famous Herrnhut Stars, which even today are still handcrafted in a traditional way. Whilst around 140 employees were making roughly 700,000 stars per year. The development of business and political frameworks since 1989 made a new beginning possible for the production of Herrnhut Starts with the relaunch of the private limited company Herrnhut Star Factory employing 23 workers in 1991. The sales department needed to be completely rebuilt. In addition, new materials were used and the production process was modernized. Since 2010, the production facilities and the demonstration workshop have been united under one roof at the new manufactory. In the modern production rooms of Herrnhut Star Factory, you can see diligent hands folding and pasting the small and large points for the famous Herrnhut stars, which even today are still handcrafted in the traditional way, whilst around 140 employees were making roughly 700,000 stars per year. By the time the new manufactory had been built and the spacious demonstration workshop was available, the company was no longer merely a manufacturer but also a tourist magnet in the region. In 2070, roughly 64,000 visitors were welcomed. This year, Herrnhut Star Factory dared to take another big step in the orientation of the company towards tourism by steering a course aimed at families and children. With a diameter of two and a half meter, the star is the largest of its kind to date. It was hung on the sixth floor of the Chancellery in Berlin and can be seen from outside. So far, there are only six of the two and a half meter stars and they are hung in very prominent places. In the Chancellery Berlin, in the Stadium of the Ice Lions Dresden, in Berlin Cathedral and the Intercontinental Hotel Düsseldorf and of course in the Herrnhut Star Factory.